Let's dive into our second and final client component pattern, the strategic placement of client components in your component tree. This is super important for optimizing the performance of your application. Since server components can't handle state and interactivity, we need client components to fill the gap. The key recommendation here is to position these client components lower in your component tree. Let me show you why this matters. I've prepared some code to demo this concept. In our project, I've set up a new route called landing page and also created three new components in the components folder, navbar, nav search, and nav links. Before we dive into the code, let me explain what we are building. Picture a landing page with a navbar at the top and a main content area below. We will focus on the navbar today. It consists of an outer wrapper, which is the navbar component itself, containing two inner components, nav links for navigation links, and nav search with a search bar that lets users search through our site. This creates a simple component tree. The landing page component sits at the top with the nav components as its children. I have already implemented this structure in our Next.js application, so let me walk you through it. Looking at landing page component, you will notice we've imported the navbar component at the top. Inside this navbar component, we have brought in both nav links and nav search. These components simply output text for now. List of nav links, nav search input. Each component includes a console log to show when it renders. So console log navbar rendered, nav links rendered, and nav search rendered. Don't worry too much about the specific implementation details as we're focusing on understanding the component hierarchy. Let's check this out in the browser by going to slash landing page. Take a look at the DevTools console and you will see log statements with the server tag because these are all server components. You can confirm this by looking at the terminal where you'll spot the same log statements. Navbar rendered, navlinks rendered, and nav search rendered. Right now, our search bar doesn't have any state associated with it. Let's introduce a state variable to track the value of the search input. We will do this in the navbar component. Import useState from React and invoke the useState hook. Let's call it search, set search, initial value, empty string. When we save this, we get an error. Our navbar component isn't marked as client component. Let's fix that by adding the use client directive at the top. After saving and refreshing, we now see client side log statements in the browser for all three components navbar rendered, nav links rendered, nav search rendered, all of them without the server tag. And don't worry about seeing the logs twice. That is just React's strict mode in development. But here is a thought if use client is declared in the navbar component, Shouldn't that be the only component running client side? Well, this is a common misconception. When you mark a component with use client, it doesn't just affect that component, but also affects every child component in the component tree below it. In our case, nav links and nav search become client components as well. Think of use client as drawing a line in your component tree, and everything below that line runs on the client side. It is crucial to understand this concept especially when you're working with larger component trees. If you convert a high-level component to a client component just to add some interactivity, you're accidentally making its entire subtree of children run on the client too. This means sending more code to the browser and losing the benefits of server components. That is why we want to push client components as far down the tree as possible, ideally making them leaf components. In our case, we can make this better. Instead of making the navbar a client component, we can keep it as a server component and just convert nav search to a client component. It's the only one that actually needs state. Back in VS Code, let's move use client to nav search along with the state, the use state hook as well. In the browser, reload the page and you will see only nav search running on the client side. Navbar and navlinks have the server tag. So that is about client component placement within the app router. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.